Hey, welcome back, Mobility Project. Take a look around. We are at the start finish of the Quad Dipsy, which is one of the hardest short ultra marathon. The hardest. The hardest. Excuse me. The hardest. We got Team San Francisco CrossFit. Wall of pink. See a pink. Hey. Uh, what we're talking about today is clearly there's lots of good eye candy. When I'm talking about eye candy, I'm talking about watching people run and the horror of watching them run. Like a disaster. Like eye candy. This is a PG family show. You know, and you, you see people running through and doing crazy things like your knees don't really work like that yet you can run a marathon like that which is pretty incredible so we've got Brian McKenzie here and one of the things I want to talk about real quick is the kind of precepts and concepts of pose running right yes so you're getting organized shoulders extra rotated spine is neutral head is and all I do is fall forward right fall forward just fall and then when, when that leg comes in the back it's got to stay straight right or do, straight. I, do I let it turn out turned out no no it's, it's straight and one of the reasons it's got to be straight is that I've got to travel back through into position so that it can be right underneath my base of support. Is that right? Bingo. Otherwise, so what happens if, if, I, if I'm short through the hip, and we've talked about this before, as I exit the tunnel, if I'm turned out, which is where we see a lot of people run, what ends up happening a lot is I do wonky things with my legs. Is that right? We're going to work around what the problem is. So that's exactly what happens. As you start working around those problems, then, then I, I, I land, my ankle's in a collapsed position, knees in a collapsed Collapse, position. Which, ironically, will turn, you know, be in that same place where we tend to That's a sweet position. Off. Okay, so we've got that concept. Now, I want to show you, now, we're not just talking about running. Let's talk about pose walking. Yes, sir. Because one of the key ideas here is that we see people running in asinine positions, but we also see people walking in those positions. And sometimes people are confused about how you should stand. You should stand with your feet straight, pointed straight forward. And one of the reasons you need to walk with your feet straight forward is that as you translate into kind of toe off, right, or I'm at the terminal stance position, I need to be able to swing through and be in a neutral position and have that foot pretty much underneath kind of base of support, right? Yeah, well, your foot can, as you walk, you're coming, you tend to land in front, and you can heel strike and roll through. It's where that transition occurs within running is where that foot lands underneath. You want that foot landing underneath it. But if, if my feet are turned out when I walk, yes. and I'm, I'm walking like this, and I stand like this, then do you see people walk like this, Brian? Do they, do they walk? And halfway through, like, they get Spin straight? Do they yeah. do that? No. No. This, so this, this is nothing that, that'll never happen. Never happen. So never look, happen. if you're going to want to walk and not destroy your ankle every single step, you need to walk with your feet pointed straight forward. Ida Rolf has a great analogy. She's like, look, if you're a race car and your wheels are pointed in this direction, you're going to have a problem. We all agree with that. Yes. And if I'm walking with my feet turned out, that means I'm going to always translate, and the ankle is always going to be open, the knee is going to be in an open position, and the hip is never going to be in a stable position too. Exactly. So as I, as I strike through now, this is why people will walk on the outside. This is why we see bunions through the big toe, etc. So look, how you walk is going to ultimately also reflect how you probably run. Or how we stand. Oh, no, you didn't. Mobility Wad, walk with your feet straight. Ron McKenzie, Quad Dipsy. We'll see you guys tomorrow.